Hello everyone, I am Saurabh Tiwari, I am PhD student at IIT Bombay, I am also, uh, I am also TA of this coursework. In the last lecture we have studied about the various uh, design and development of metal, hydra uh, metal hydra hydrogen storage in which we studied about how the, uh, how we have developed the metal hydride reactor according to the applications that, that is used for, uh, that is being used uh, for a particular metal hydride hydrogen storage. In this lecture, we have studied about, uh, we have studied some example to, uh, so that uh, we, are, we are able to understand how we will able to develop these metal hydrogen, hydrogen storage systems. In this tutorial, we will, we will initiate with the design of for the absorption case. In the question that we have seen, uh, seen on our slide, we have to design a metal hydride reactor which contain LANFI as metal hydride reactor. So, from LANFI we are able to understand what is the density of metal hydride, what is the gravimetric capacity of metal hydride. In this we want to store 50 gram of hydrogen. Now uh, in the question it is, it is also given that if we consider the uh, shape of metal hydride reactor as cylinder and if we want uh, and then we will, we will need to calculate the length and the diameter according to the uh, L by D ratio which is given as 3. Based on this system we also need to calculate the mass of hydrogen that is being stored. Uh, at, a, at a certain uh, certain time t uh, at a, a temperature of 303 kelvin so there are three supply pressure that is that is being given in this question which is 10 bar 20 bar and 30 bar and finally we need to understand what is the effect of this supply pressure on the amount of mass absorbed there are some other properties uh, which is saturation state the density of metal hydride is saturation state this is when the when when uh, when uh, the hydrogen is absorbed inside the metal hydride and the uh, at a saturated saturated state that is it is uh, the hydrogen is absorbed at the maximum level which will be uh, which will be accompanied accompanied by the metal hydride density at a particular time t is also given 8467 kg per meter cube and the density of metal hydride without hydrogen is 8400 so it is a pure density of metal hydride the porosity of metal hydride is also given as 0.5 and the expansion volume is 20 percent. The reaction constant for this condition is, uh, is given and act activation energy is given. So how will we proceed with this problem? So initially we have seen that the L by D ratio of 3 is given. So from here we will find out that uh, length is equal to the 3 times of the diameter that of, a, of, of this cylinder. Now the second is the amount of hydrogen that we need to store is 50 gram which is 0.05 kg. From the value uh, from the uh, metal hydride which is LANI5, we have seen that the uh, gravimetric capacity of LANI5 is 1.68 percent that you have studied in the previous lectures. Now uh, to store 50, 50 gram of hydrogen in LANI5, we have to understand what amount of metal hydride we required. So amount of metal hydride is calculated by this formula that is being given in the last lecture which is 100 upon gravimetric capacity G into mass of hydrogen to be stored which will give us the value of amount of metal hydride required. Now from, uh, from the metal hydride we also understand the density of metal hydride which is given as 8400. The density of LNA5 is 8400 which is given here. Now from here we know the mass of metal hydride, now we know the density of metal hydride. From here we are able to calculate the amount volume of metal hydride required which is mass upon volume which will give us this volume of 3.72 into 10 raised to power minus 4 meter cube. After calculating uh, this volume we need to consider the porosity of metal hydride also. So if we are assuming a porosity of 0 0.5 then the volume of metal hydride will increase by this content. So like uh, we have calculated the volume of metal hydride as 3.70 into 10 raised to power minus 4. And when the porosity is 0.5, so to accompany this porosity, we have to divide this value by 0.5 and the volume required is 7.44 into 10 raised to power 5 minus 4 meter cube. Now uh, in the last lecture, I, we, uh, uh, we have studied that when the hydrogen is absorbed inside the metal hydride reactor, there is expansion of metal hydride also. 
to a campaign uh, to compensate that uh, uh, volume uh, expansion volume we have to provide an uh, uh, expansion volume inside the metal hydride reactor which is 20 to 20, 15 to 25 percent. So, in this example we are assuming this expansion volume as 20 percent. So, if we assuming as it as 25, 20 percent so the volume of metal hydride comes out to be 8.93 into 10 raised to power minus 4. This is the final volume of metal hydride reactor required to hold the metal hydride with a porosity of 0 0.5 and, uh, and after providing an expansion volume of 20 percent also. Now in the question that we have seen it is also given that the shape of the metal hydride reactor is cylindrical and L by D ratio is 3. So from here we calculate that L is 3 time of diameter. Now the shape of uh, from the shape of the cylinder we were we are able to calculate that the volume of cylinder is given by this formula and this volume need to be equal to this volume which is required for the metal hydride reactor. So from here if we put L as 3D, so we have only one variable diameter left in this uh, in this equation. So from here we are able to calculate the diameter of reactor and also the length of the reactor. So now we have the diameter we have the length of the reactor. Now it is also given uh, for any time t uh, we, we have the temperature where temperature is 303 Kelvin. Now normally in the previous lecture I, we have told that, the, that, that there is an energy equation which is being used to calculate the temperature at a particular time and at a particular uh, space, uh, space that is uh, at a particular distance for, uh, in the metal hydride reactor. But in this case it is given that at a particular time t. So, we do not require the differential equation it is directly given that the temperature is 303 Kelvin and the supply pressure is these 3. So, from here we will calculate the equilibrium pressure. So, the equilibrium pressure is P reference exponential entropy of the reaction and the enthalpy of the reaction. Now, it is given that for La and I5 the entropy and the enthalpy is uh, this 108 and 3800 joule per mole. If we put this value in this formula, we are able to calculate the equilibrium pressure which is 2.14 bar. Now we have the uh, equilibrium pressure. In the last lecture we have also studied that the, uh, the mass of hydrogen that is being absorbed, the rate of mass of hydrogen that is being absorbed inside the metal hydride reactor is given by this formula where Ca is the reaction constant. Uh, Ea is the activation energy, this is the universal gas constant, this is the universal gas constant, uh, this Ts is the temperature of the uh, metal hydride reactor, Ps is the supply pressure. P equilibrium we have already calculated from the above equation. Rho saturation is the density of metal hydride at saturated level and rho s is the uh, density of metal hydride at a particular time t. Now from this formula we have calculated the mass uh, rate of mass absorbed inside the metal hydride reactor and this mass comes out to be this. So we just need to change the we have we all the values are given in the in, in the question rho saturation is given rho s is given. So we have to change this value p s from 10, 20 and 30 one by one and accordingly we will calculate the mass rate of mass of uh, rate of mass of hydrogen absorbed inside the metal hydride reactor. So these are the uh, 3 calculated rate of mass of hydrogen absorbed. From here we have seen that when the pressure when the supply pressure is increasing from 10 to uh, 10 to 30 bar our, our mass of, our rate of mass of hydrogen is also increasing. So why it is happening? In the last lecture I have told you that uh, supply pressure minus equilibrium pressure of metal hydride is the main driving force. So when we increase the supply pressure from 10 to 30 bar this difference between the uh, supply pressure and the equilibrium pressure is continuously increasing. Uh, which will uh, which will allow us to have a more hydrogen that is being uh, rate of hydrogen that is being absorbed inside the metal hydride reactor. So this is how we will calculate. So the effect of pressure is uh, that is being asked in the question is when we increase the supply pressure the driving force will increase which will increase the amount of mass that is being absorbed inside the metal hydride reactor. 
Coming to the next question, carry forward that the, uh, the previous question, we have seen that okay, this is the amount of hydrogen that is being absorbed. Uh, so, the maximum hydrogen that is being absorbed is uh, 1.6 according to 1.6 weight percent and the density at that portion is 8534 kg per meter cube. Density at particular time t again is same and the density of ma uh, metal hydride without hydrogen is also given. Now, this is the case of desorption. in which the same 50 gram of hydrogen is already being stored, the shape of the uh, metal hydride is cylinder, the L by D ratio is 3. But in this case, we want to calculate the mass of hydrogen dissolved at a particular time t when temperature of metal hydride reactor is these. So, in this, in this value, we, have to, we want to calculate the effect of temperature uh, on the amount of mass dissolved from the metal hydride reactor. Now, two, two important thing which is need to be seen is the reaction constant is much more lesser as compared to what is in the absorption case and the activation energy is also less in this case. So, value, uh, so these values are lower as compared to what we have seen in the uh, absorption case. So, these desorption, these generally these desorption case is generally being used for the refrigeration case. Uh, in which when the hydrogen is dissolved, the temperature of the metal hydride reactor will uh, decrease and this will provide us the cooling effect. In the uh, LANI5 cases, these type of uh, uh, desorption cases are also being seen in the uh, as a uh, uh, secondary metal hydride reactor for uh, high temperature metal hydride. This is in case of uh, thermal energy storage systems. which means when the hydrogen is dissolved from the high temperature metal hydride, it is being absorbed in the low temperature metal hydride and, uh, and accordingly the desorption will be as, as fast as possible. So, that more and more hydrogen is present at the high temperature metal hydride reactor. Uh, so, that uh, it will generate more heat and it, that will be available for, uh, for the utilization in the, for particular cases. Now, this problem is again start with we have the L by D ratio of 3. From here we were able to calculate the L is equals to 3D is uh, amount of hydrogen store is again 0 0.50 gram is 0 0.05 kg, gravimetric capacity is 1.6 weight percent and accordingly the amount of uh, metal hydride required is 3.125 kg. The density of metal hydride is 8400 from where the we have calculated the volume of metal hydride. Now, considering the again, again considering the porosity of 0 0.5 and the volume of metal hydride is comes out to be 8.44 into 10 raised to the power minus 4 meter cube. Again, we have considered the expansion volume, the volume of metal hydride comes out to be 8.93 into 10 raised to the power minus 4 meter cube as we have seen in the last question also. Now, again, the, uh, again we have, uh, we have, uh, have the shape of uh, reactor as cylinder so, di uh, so that we are able to calculate the diameter and the length of the reactor by having the volume of, volume of the metal hydride reactor required. Now, for any time t, in this case, we have given the temperature of 303, 313, 323, 333. And the outlet pressure is given as 1 bar. So, if we have a uh, metal hydride reactor and hydrogen uh, metal hydride is, is here and the hydrogen is already present inside this metal hydride reactor. So, when the desorption case is started, so the pressure at outlet need to be lower than the equilibrium pressure of metal hydride. So, uh, when, the, when, the, when this pressure is, uh, when the equilibrium pressure is higher than the outlet pressure, only then the hydrogen will transfer from inside to the outlet. So, for the first case is P equilibrium pressure is greater than the P outlet pressure. So, here it is given that the P outlet pressure is 1 bar. Similarly, we will calculate in the as we see in the last uh, question, similarly we will calculate the equilibrium pressure also uh, by this formula. The mass dissolved is calculated by this formula. It is important that this term is different. Uh, 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 in the mass dissolved is different as the uh, the formula that we have seen for the amount of mass absorbed. This is also a bit different as compared to the last. The, the reaction constant is, is lesser in uh, for the desorption case as we compared in the absorption case. So, from this formula we have calculated the value of equilibrium pressure. So, at 303 Kelvin it is 2.14. Uh, for uh, 313 uh, is 3.17. So, what we have seen from here as we increase the temperature 
our equilibrium pressure is also continuously goes on increasing. If our equilibrium pressure goes on increasing, the mass dissolved from the metal hydride reactor is also increasing. This negative sign indicate the desorption of hydrogen from the metal hydride reactor. Now, temperature, uh, so when we increase the temperature, equilibrium pressure increases and the mass of, uh, amount of mass dissolved is also increasing. So what we have, why it is happening is the equilibrium pressure, we have seen that the equilibrium pressure is a function of temperature. That is P equilibrium is, uh, is a, as I uh, shown you in the last slide, is the function of del S by R exponential minus del H by RT. So when the temperature is increasing, this equilibrium pressure is also goes on increasing. If this equilibrium pressure is increasing, the main driving force which is P equilibrium minus P0 is continuously goes on increasing. With this increase in the uh, driving force, this, the amount of mass dissolved is also continuously goes on increasing. This is very important when we want to design a particular uh, metal hydride reactor for a particular cases. So initially we have to see what we have to go, uh, what we have to consider. Suppose if we want to uh, design a metal hydride reactor for uh, fuel cell integration. So there is a hydrogen uh, metal hydride reactor that is being connected with the fuel cell. So this hydrogen need to be removed at a uh, uh, at a particular rate that is being uh, that is gone into the fuel cell and that is being further used for the generation of electricity. So the control of this mass flow rate is done by the by increasing or decreasing the temperature. So this temp to maintain this temperature there are different type of methods that is being used. Uh, some of them uses the flow of fluid at the outer boundary. Some of them uses the cooling, uh, cooling tube inside the metal hydride reactor to supply heat to the uh, metal hydride reactor at a particular temperature so that this equilibrium pressure will increase and there will be a uh, increase in the mass dissolved. Okay. Thank you.